as a glass and build, uh, Mark here. Just like to do a little review, a take on the new juice range from Tarbell Vaping Tech. It's called Moonshine. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Cornelian Vanda. He's doing an awesome job mixing these juices, supplying it to Auntie Hilda and Uncle Mike. Um, you're doing an amazing job with the, with the shop all around and the service, the prices, everything. It's top notch, it's competitive, it's exactly what we need in the market nowadays. <clears throat> if you, uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Travel Up and Tech for this opportunity to have a look at their new juices and get a sort of a, a sneak peek preview of what you can expect. Um, as you can see, let me just get these bottles a little bit back here. From what we've got here, that will be available in three different sizes. We've got a 30 mil, a 60 mil, and a 100 mil. As you can see there on the bottom, it's authentic Chubby Gorilla bottle, so no question there that it's childproof, um, safe to use, and is essentially UK approved. Um, they're going to be launching 10 flavors, uh, which is going to be right through from startup uh, mental up to fruity, right through to full on dessert flavors. Uh, let's just take another heat here. So essentially, um, the 10 flavors, let's start off with a right on menthol and work our way up to the, to the desserts. First off is, the first use they're going to make is called the Widowmaker. It's a, it's a full on spearmint menthol vape, um, but not, it's not going to kick your lungs out. It's a very tasty, sweet menthol. Spearmint obviously complementing it. It's definitely for someone if you're coming off the analogs and you've been smoking a heavy menthol vape <coughs> This is definitely the like menthol cigarettes. This is definitely the juice to go to it'll Definitely solve all the problems Menthol wise and give you the nicotine that you need without all of the hazardous chemicals Secondly, we've got a cool mule which is a combination of a lychee menthol uh, flavor also uh, very very tasty especially on a hot summer's day this would be my go-to juice to uh, you know take it like a, a breather calm down sit back relax and enjoy the weekend uh, number three we have a juice called happy sally and this is spot on a fruit popsicle that you buy out of the store fruity tasty it's you know raw fruit flavors ripe it just tastes absolutely wonderful uh, next up we've got the donkey punch which is passion fruit and lemon now this is as if you're having a cocktail you can taste all of the flavor profiles and it gives you a lovely all-day vape you can vape this from morning to night and not even get bored with it <coughs> Next up is uh, Scrumpy Candy. This is a nice sour apple marshmallow flavor. Now, I know it sounds uh, quite interesting to combine apple and marshmallow, but trust me, you haven't even began to gather what this tastes like. It's absolutely wonderful. Next up, we have uh, Fruit Lightning, which is a creamy kiwi and strawberry. This is now bordering the dessert lines as we get into the sweeter stuff. The strawberry in that thing is phenomenal. You can taste every single bite that you take out of a ripe strawberry. Next up is sweet candy, which is a fudge toffee. This is also really quite a, a nice vape, especially for the people with a sweet tooth. Quite good and can really be enjoyed. Uh, next up for number eight is the Dirty Bell, which is a Turkish delight and rose combination. Now this, I, I'm personally I'm not a fan of Turkish delight, the sweet itself, but this juice I couldn't put it down. They gave me ten more samples, that ten more was gone in fifteen minutes. And then uh, lastly, we have the Smoking Guns, which is a strawberry cheesecake, and a sort of a, a crustiness to it 
it's sort of like a graham cracker. Now, this is what I've got in here. Um, I tasted the smoking guns, and the same day, I ordered 100 more for them. This, as you can see, is actually full. Um, this I enjoy so much. I think 100 more is actually not going to last me the whole of this weekend. And then next up, flavor number 10 is called uh, the Texan Tart. Now this is still in the development phase and as soon as they release the flavor and they're happy with the recipe, I'll definitely do a review on that flavor as well. Oh, that, that's about my take on the new Moonshine series. As you can see also from the labels here, this is not the final label. This is just a, a, a draft of what it's going to look like. But there's definitely a lot more detail coming. Well, that's it um, from my side. I hope you enjoy this review. This is my first ever review, so be gentle with the comments. And uh, keep calm and vape on. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one.